Hey guys, I'm Kyle. Welcome back to another video. So today we got Travis and his Jeep Gladiator on 38s. We're gonna do a rig walk around, so let's go. All right, Travis, so uh, I guess we'll just start in the front. What do we got up front? All right, so up front we got an Evo quarter pounder uh, aluminum bumper. Uh, All, right. Yeah. All right, aluminum, so uh, saving a lot of weight there. Yeah, uh, saving a lot of weight. It tucks in really nice, the, the front of the Jeep. Had to cut um, the horns off the front of the frame to, to get it nice and tied up in there. Uh, helps with the clearance. Got a Smitty built XRC 9500 winch. Nice. All right, so uh, suspension. What are we running for suspension? Suspension, I have a Rusty's 4-inch advanced lift, all adjustable control arms. Uh, got the Rusty's, don't know the exact nomenclature for the shocks, but they're the, they're the mid-tier for the advanced lift. Okay. I have a uh, adjustable rear track bar adjustable front track bar and a um, uh, bill of super lift um, steering stabilizer. Nice. Other than the uh, stabilizer, are we running any upgraded steering or stock steering? No, nope, it's all stock steering. Okay. Uh, wheels and tires, what do we have? Uh, wheels got Pro Cop 17 inch uh, 69 series and the tires, they are Milestar Patagonia 38 inch. Uh, 1350 17s. Editing. Editing. Um, all right, so I see some Jeep badges here. God damn, they're so loud. All right. All right, so I see some Jeep badges here. What are we, uh, you're going around uh, East Coast, it looks like, or? Uh, Central? Yeah. yeah, so I just moved out kind of close to the East Coast, so I'm hitting up all the uh, all the trails that are out here. Just hit Indiana last weekend, two weeks ago, sorry. Um, out here at Windrock Park this weekend, and hopefully in the next couple weeks I'll get out to uh, West Virginia and um, North Carolina. Nice. All right, so uh, looks like just the stock rock sliders there? Yep, stock roof rock slider. Uh, rear suspension, the same rusties? Yep, same lift. No all right. And then uh, stock rear bumper or what's stock rear? Stock rear bumper, stock uh, bed sliders. All right, and a uh, nice little toolbox, huh? Yep, hold all the camping gear, tools, everything. All right, so we just finished up Trail 51. And uh, one thing I wanted to touch on uh, while we were talking, he mentioned that he used to have 40s and he went back down to a 38. So tell us a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, so. I've been rolling on the 38s, these same tires for about a year. Uh, wanted to upgrade to 40s. Threw the 40s on, same tire, Milestar Patagonia 40s, uh, 40 by 13 and a half, 17. Um, got down the road, they just don't balance. They didn't balance very well. Um, they kind of rode a little bit crappier and my gas mileage tanked by a lot more than I thought. It dropped average about four miles per gallon more. Wow. Yeah. So uh, better highway ride quality and significantly better MPG on 38s than 40s. Do you feel like you lost much any capability? No, because I've never, I didn't need the 40s. I've never been stuck with the 38s. I just, it was more of a want than a need. Sweet. So one other thing here, uh, he has the 3.6 liter and he's got kind of a unique air compressor setup. So tell us about that. Yeah, so I have the ARB single compressor. Uh, it's high output, but it's the, it's the single compressor. I installed it right here on, the, on one of the brackets where the uh, original plastic engine cover, the one that put the, the V6 Pentastar thing on there. So I took that off, and there just happened to be a couple holes, made it work, threw some uh, nuts and bolts through it, and it, it's solid. It, it hasn't gone anywhere in about a year, and uh, got the switch down here. Hook nice. up right here, and I can air up the tires in probably about 10 minutes pretty good for 38s. Yeah. Uh, how do you like the V6? Are you happy with it? Yeah, plenty of power, gas mileage is good. Um, it's never left me stranded, so it's a beast. 
All right, that's it for this video, guys. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe and stay tuned for more content. I got a lot coming your way with the XJ.